What is up everybody, it's ABL213 here with another video. I didn't really know what to do for an intro, so just enjoy whatever the hell I decide to put here, but today I will be looking at every team's worst logo. And the only requirement for this is that it has to have been their primary logo any time in their creation. So now, let's get started with the Arizona Cardinals. And for Arizona here, we have the St. Louis Cardinals from 1960 to 1969. And obviously this is back when they were the St. Louis Cardinals because, fun fact, they have more name changes than NFC West championships. So they have changed their name more than they have won the NFC West, which is kind of sad. But the reason I don't like this logo is I don't like how humanoid he looks. I don't like his legs at all. He looks very pissed off and it looks like he's running through that thing at St. Louis, that giant like archway. I'll put it up on screen, whatever it's called. Yeah, here it is. It's called the Gateway Arch and... I should have clued in earlier, I'm very stupid and slow. Obviously he would be running through that arch because it's a landmark in St. Louis, which is where the team was at the time, hence the name St. Louis Cardinals. Next is the Atlanta Falcons, and they've had three logos, but I mean, it's pretty much just two logos because the 1990-2000 to 2000 is just an outlined version of the original. And I'd have to say out of these three, my least favorite, I guess, is the 1966 to 1989 version, just because when I think of Falcons, I don't think of that, but I can maybe kind of think of Falcons, think of the white outlined one and obviously the present one, but yeah, when I think of Falcons, I just do not think of the original logo at all. For the Ravens, once again, it's a team with only two logos. I mean, I guess to be fair, it is a more recent team, like kind of started in 96 because when the Browns relocated to Baltimore because their owner just said screw all these Cleveland fans I'm moving to Baltimore and out of these two I guess my least favorite would be the 96 to 98 one because the 99 to present is just iconic I mean murders beating up your girlfriend two Super Bowl rings I mean it's iconic for the bills here I chose the 1960 to 1961 Buffalo Bills and I can see quickly why they canned this after only one year. I mean, look at it. It looks like one very muscular buffalo or just two very stupid and slow ones. And I mean, look at the detail on those humans, if I can call them that. They look like they're made out of clay. They look so horrible. And this was obviously before the GOAT, O.J. Simpson, ever brung the Bills to relevance. And this is the... Tied for the second youngest team in the league with the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Carolina Panthers have only had two logos since their inception and the 95 and 2012. And if I had to choose my pick, I think it would be the 2012 to current day Panthers for the worst. Just because the 95 reminds me of better times. Jake DeLome, Steve Smith, Ray Carruth. You know, I heard he likes video games a lot. I think his favorite game would be Hitman. The Bengals had this monstrosity of a logo in 1968 to 1969, and once again, this is another logo I can see why they quickly canned this after only one year, and I mean, it looks like they're, they got Tony the Tiger out here playing with them. Eh, it still won't help them win a playoff game, so. The Cleveland Browns used this Keebler elf from 1948 to 1958, and apparently this logo was so good and amazing they used it again in 1959 to 1969. And I mean, what more do I have to say about this logo? It's just a Keebler elf. I don't know why they thought this was a good logo idea. Also, I don't like the stare they're giving me. It's like, hey, I'm going to disappoint you for some 40-odd years. Deal with it. We have no success as a team. The Chicago Bears, 1946 to 1973. And I don't know why they used this logo for so long because at least I don't think it looks good. I just don't like how the bear is climbing on a football. I mean, I guess, like, you're a bear, so include the logo, but really climbing a football was the best way to do that? And this is their second logo from 1940 to 1945. I've actually kind of grown to like this logo while, like, making this video. I don't know why. The bear just looks like his name is Stanley, and I just feel like this is a way better way to incorporate a bear with a football than the 46 to 73 logo does. The Dallas Cowboys, yet again another team that has only had two logos, but surprisingly, this team hasn't really changed up their logo much. I mean, 63 to 60 and then 64 to the present day, so they really like their logo, and between these, I guess I would have to go with the 1960 to 1963 logo just because 
come on, the one on the right is iconic. I mean, it's really about it. It's just the same thing with the Falcons. It's just an outlined version of the old logo. And the Denver Broncos, 1962-1969, to 1969, and they had this thing. I mean, what is on his leg? Did he piss himself? Did he piss Orange Gatorade? Why is he, like, so... I don't know if he's disproportionate or not, but his head is so small compared to his body. Why is he wearing number 63? Is he a long snapper? And that horse, he looks like he's out of a Disney cartoon. But, I mean, the horse is the best part about this logo. I mean, I guess the only thing they really could have changed was put John Elway and his addiction to tall white quarterbacks there. It's about the only thing that would be possibly worse than this logo. And then, in 1961 to 1969, Detroit made this thing. And I'm joking a bunch about, like, how awful these logos are, but I legitimately think this is the worst logo ever. It is... It looks like it was drawn by a six-year-old. I mean... Who the hell approved this? It looks horrible. Why is his one leg so stretched out? He looks like he's trying not to fall over and reach for some food on his hind legs back there. Why is his tail that shape? Why does it go back so far? Why do they look so sad? Yeah, I legitimately think this is the worst logo ever in NFL history. For the Green Bay Packers, I kind of have a tie. It's this 1921 logo. But I've kind of grown appreciation for this, and I just think it's cool how this is the logo from 1921 that the Packers have been around since 1921. I just find that really cool. And here is the 1956 through 61 logo, and if I had to choose a worst logo, which I do, it's the title of the video, I would definitely choose this one. I just don't like it. Why is the man yellow? He blends in with the football too much. I think they could have made, like, the football brown and the guy yellow or vice versa, something. Just, he blends in with the background too much, and... Half of his pants are green. They should have just made him one solid color so he doesn't blend in with the map or the the map, the state or the football there. And it just kind of hurts my eyes to look at, honestly. It looks like I'm looking at a giant block of cheese. And for the newest team in the NFL, the Houston Texans, who came into the league in 2002, they only have one logo. They have never changed it. And I mean, this is an okay logo. I don't really have any problems with it, but I guess by default, it is the worst Texans logo. For the Indian Indianapolis Colts, just like the Arizona Cardinals were going back when they had a name change. The Baltimore Colts, 1953 to 1960. And I think this is in contention for one of the worst logos. I still think the Lions hand... The Lions take that hands down is the worst logo, but I mean, just the old helmet the old field goal post i know it's what it would have been at the time because it was obviously 53 through 60 so that's like how the game was played and how it would have looked but i just think they could have done a better job with the horse jumping through the field goal post with the ball in between its hooves the chiefs 1963 to 1971 and old mcdonald head here is just running through the midwestern states I, why does he have a loincloth on, first of all? And second of all, what is the deal with his hair on his legs? What is that? And I was kind of confused because I'm like, what is this? Like, what is he running on? But I looked it up, and in the bottom right, it's Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma. So there's just a giant chief running through the Midwestern states. I think we need to call the government to help him help us take him down. The Chargers, 1961 to 1973, and I mean, it's an okay logo, but just when I think of the Chargers, I don't think of a shield. I think of just a straight-up lightning bolt and how they should move back to San Diego. I don't care how bad of a stadium they had. They should just move back because I hate saying Los Angeles Chargers. It's unnatural. Just move back to San Diego. Bring Boltman back, too. You need him if you're moving back. And here is another team that should move back to their original home, the Los Angeles Rams. I mean, come on, please, just move back to St. Louis. Everyone wants it. And, yes, this is the 2022 present-day logos. They're horrible. I'm sorry. The one on the left is eh, but I do not like the Ram on the right. Like, the 1940s ones they had, the very originals, at least were, like, kind of cool Rams. But these just suck. I would rather have the original St. Louis Ram. And, yeah, it looks like the True Lion logo to me. I think the LA, the LA one specifically with its stupid little horn off the top of the A, it looks like the True Lion logo. 
and Jacksonville Jaguars. This is their first ever logo, 1993 to 1994, and I have two main reasons to why this one got canned after a year. One, it's horrible, and two, a cease and desist from the car company, Jaguar. So, yeah, it looks like they just tried to steal it for their logo. I much prefer the head that the Jacksonville Jaguars use now, and for their logo after this, I much prefer that to this full-body Jaguar. For the Dolphins, a team that's pretty famous for having decent logos, I chose the 2018 to the present-day Dolphins just because... The only difference between the last logo and this one is it's a little bit brighter on the orange, a little bit darker, and I just feel like the other ones used it well, and like, the one, the other Dolphins logos are iconic, like, you can just think of Dan Marino, yeah, all these great players for the Dolphins, and just when I think of this logo, I really don't think of anyone that important. The Minnesota Vikings 1961-1965 logo, and... I think this is one of the few logos that's ever facing the left. I think there's one more coming up, but... And my god, I don't know if it's just this picture that I found, but you can count the pixels in this. Oh, it's horrible. It's like in 8P. But besides the quality being terrible, I guess it's just the image I found, but... Yeah, the other Vikings logos, there's nothing really that bad about them. This one's just looking left and looking horrible. And also his hair is the same color as his helmet, so it's kind of... I guess you have the horns, but it's kind of hard to differ, differentiate. Kind of hard to tell the difference between his helmet and his hair. The New England Patriots, 1960-1971, to 1971, and this looks like it was ripped straight out of a Samuel Adams cartoon. I mean, I kind of like the like direction and art style it has, except for his right leg. What is going on there? It looks like it's made out of yarn, and it's about to fall off. And the weird shadow cast by the his feet in the football, I really don't like that. But I'd say my main problem with this logo is his face. He looks so angry, and he looks like he's squatting down to take a poop right on the field. The New Orleans Saints, 2000 to 2001. And I can see why this one only lasted one year. It's just an outlined and saturated version of the normal Saints logo. They tried to fix something that wasn't broken. And, if I had to guess, everyone got pissed at them, so they rightfully changed it back after one year of this. I mean, it looks like they just stuck it in a deep fryer. The New York Giants, 1975. And this is another one where I have a tie between another one, which is the 1956 to 1960 logo, but... I think this is just, like, the worst one that is just New York, just the NY. It looks horrible, and they only used it for one year, so... Like some of the other logos, I guess, no one liked it, so they canned it and went for a better logo the next year. And this is the logo that the Giants for some reason used in 1956 through 60, and I mean, it's literally just a giant man inside of a stadium. I mean, yeah, their name is the Giants, but really, they couldn't have come up with anything more clever than him. I mean, his hand looks like a boot. What is that? He has no fingers. Why is he like the quarterback of the team if he has one usable hand? The New York Jets, 1978 to 1997, and I mean, this one is, it's not the worst in the world. It kind of reminds me of the Utah Jazz old logo back when they had Carl Malone and John Stockton, but mm, they used this logo for about, what, 13 years? Somewhere along that. I think Carl Malone likes the number 13 a lot, but... This just isn't the best Jet logo they could have. I mean, they had a way better one. And this is the one I was talking about. I just decided to throw this in because I've never seen this Jets logo before. I decided I wanted to make this video, and I really like this, honestly. I kind of wish they would go back to this as their original logo, or their logo they use now. I'm not a big fan of just NY Jets in a circle. I mean, like, yeah, that logo is almost as depressing as their performance last year and over the past 20 years, but... I think they should go back to this logo, and probably besides Carolina, this is like the only team that I could say I would rather them use one of their old logos instead of their current ones. The Las Vegas Raiders, 1960 to 1962, and I mean, it's just the Raiders logo, but he looks worse with a worse helmet, and he's on an oblong coconut, or maybe a walnut, I'm not really sure, and it looks like the, it looks like the tall walnut from Plants vs. Zombies. 
For the Philadelphia Eagles, I actually have two. I have the worst non-Eagle logo they've used and the worst Eagle logo they've used. And obviously, this helmet they used from 1973 to 86. And I'm not really sure why that they just decided to win to abandon an Eagle. I mean, your team kind of is named the Philadelphia Eagles. But when I think of this, for some reason, I think of Randall Cunningham. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, I guess... That's something I can think of one of their good quarterbacks from this horrendous logo. And for the worst Eagle logo that they've used, I would have to give it to this one from 1942 to 1947. Just because the one they had prior to this was just the same logo, but they were like, let's make a different logo, but this one green. So it's like they had the same logo twice, just recolored. And honestly, I just think this one looks worse. I don't know why. I just... Maybe it's just because I don't like that shade of green, but I just don't think it mixes well with that eagle there at all. I think this will take the cake for possibly the weirdest one. I'm going to give you a second to guess what team this is. Alright, your second is up. This is the San Francisco 49ers logo that they used from 1946 to 1967. And they kind of missed an opportunity to start this franchise in 49. Come on, 1949, 49ers. I mean, I guess he's supposed to be a prospector going for the gold rush in California because they were called 49ers. They were trying to get rich very quickly, mining for gold. But why does he have two guns? Why is his hat flying off his head? Why is he sideways? Is he jumping? What is he jumping from? Just having fun shooting the ground? When I first saw this, I didn't even think this was a real logo for an NFL team. I had to check it. I was like, what the hell? They actually used this logo. And I'm kind of sad. I've never seen this logo before now. So weird. The Seattle Seahawks, 1976-2001, to 2001, and this is a case where I like all of these logos. I mean, out of all three of them, because they only have three logos, the most recent one, the one that reminds me of Sean Alexander, and this one with Steve Largent, I just think this is my least favorite because he's staring into my soul. I mean, look at that eye. You can just feel it staring into your soul. And also his beak is curved. It feels like he's going to poke your eye out while he's staring you in your soul. Pittsburgh Steelers, 1962 to 1968. And to me, this looks like the fat controller from Thomas the Train. And a mix between the planter's peanut. And he also kind of looks like the Monopoly guy. Just, I guess, same reason with a fat controller. He's just fat. But I get it. They're like Steelers, steel workers and all that. But why is he on a steel beam kicking a football? I just don't really like the design of this logo at all. It also just confuses me. And I don't like how much he reminds me of the planter's peanut. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 1976 to 1996. They use this logo for about 20 years. I don't like the way he's looking at me at all. Or I don't know if that's just, just once again, the picture. But the little, like, not cut out between his ear ring down there. I don't like that at all. But that's probably just a photo problem. But this logo, the main reason why I don't like it is the other ones are better, like the current one in the mid-2000s that they used. But this logo just thinks of Bo Jackson leaving for baseball, so he didn't have to play for the team, trading Steve Young and watching him become a Hall of Famer and winning a couple rings with the 49ers, and 26 consecutive losses. Like, this logo just reminds me of bad things, trading away a Hall of Famer, literally drafting the best player in the draft and then him going to play baseball so he didn't have to play for this trash of a team and also 26 straight losses hurts a lot for the Tennessee Titans aka Houston Oilers here I couldn't really pick one so I just found this and the top three are my least favorite the 1960 to 61 1961 to 68 and then the 1969 to 71 logo I guess if I had to pick the worst one, it looks like the 1969 to 71 is a case of seasonal depression, and the 61 to 68 lost all its color from 60 to 61. I'm not really sure why they decided to take back the color of all things, like his yellow hat and his yellow boots. I mean, I guess the worst one would be 69 to 71 because at least the 61 to 68 has like something to it. It has a guy in some background, but that's just a helmet that's non-colored. I mean. It's just not really that interesting. At least the the first two logos have something kind of interesting about them. And here's the last one. It is Washington from 1970 to 1971. And it's just an R. I mean, like, I don't know why they just decided to switch the logo to that. 
it was only for a year as well, so I guess everyone's like, hey, this is a crappy logo. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I like the current Washington football team's logo better than this. And yeah, they've still not made up a name at the time of this video. Hopefully they do soon. I guess it's kind of hard to name a football team with a decent name, but I just want to see. I'm interested in what they'll actually end up naming the team. Oh yeah, and I forgot. This is probably the dumbest change out of all the logos. This is the Washington logo from 1982. And the huge astounding difference is that he looked left. Yeah, I don't know why, for some reason, 1982, someone just decided to say, let's make him look left this time. And that is it. I would just like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.